Popularity in video has grown hugely over the last few years, thanks in part to vlogging. So in this video, we thought we'd give you a few tips on key things to think about when creating the perfect video blog. When making a video, it's always best to be as prepared as possible beforehand. Be clear about what you're going to do and say in your vlog, including what points you want to get across and any props you will need to use. Even if you're not using a pre-written script, make sure that there is a logical thread to any points you want to make. It's always important to think about your audience and make sure that you pitch things at the right level for them to understand. If you want to talk straight into the camera, you must make sure the height of the camera is correct in order to get everything you need into the shot. You must also be certain that the camera is the right distance to be able to capture both the sound and the image clearly. Depending on what types of vlogs you'll be making and where you'll be filming, a tripod or mount could come in handy. It can help set the correct height you need and make sure the camera is extra secure and steady, minimizing any camera shake. Image stabilization is a key feature for a great vlogging camera that helps keep your video footage constantly smooth when you're moving around during filming. It will also minimize any blurring you may get when vlogging on the go. Autofocus and face detection is another great feature to ensure that the camera will automatically keep focused on the person or object you are shooting. Most vlogging cameras these days have a flip screen, which is especially useful if you want to use it as a screen monitor, so you can see yourself and monitor the footage while you're recording. However, it can also be used to help achieve some interesting angles to make the setting look more creative, especially if you're filming outdoors. Although not always obvious, another thing to think about is how you will shoot your vlog in low light conditions. Some cameras can struggle with this, so look for one that allows you to control the light settings to compensate. Cameras with a wide lens aperture and large sensor are also a good choice as they can capture more light. If you have some basic editing software, you have the advantage of filming small sections at a time and then editing them together on a PC or Mac when you've finished. If you want to spend time doing some creative editing, it may be a good idea to add some music and insert other images into the video blog, making it more interesting. To do this, it's best to first record the video onto the camera's removable SD card. Finally, you can remove the card and slot it into your PC or Mac to then use editing software. Alternatively, if you have no need to edit and the camera has Wi-Fi, you should be able to upload your blog direct to your smartphone or online platforms such as Facebook and Instagram. Another great feature with Wi-Fi is that by downloading an app, you can remotely control the camera from a distance, giving you much more freedom and flexibility in the shooting. Beyond this, the highest video quality is 4K. However, it's worth noting that this quality can only be fully appreciated on 4K screens and will take up a huge amount of memory space due to file size. We hope you found these tips helpful. Happy vlogging!